Shalom. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Shem Yosha, Yahweh Shem Merkakadash, double honors to the elders and apostles for their advocation and knowledge. And to Wadi Yahweh Shem Yosha for putting the spirit of the elders and apostles. We, so we come edify regarding this truth and knowledge, learn this truth and knowledge. And to Wadi Yahweh Shem Yosha overall for allow us to be so we can know this truth and knowledge. Call Holy Yahweh Shem Yosha, Yahweh Shem Merkakadash. Give all praise to Yahweh Shem Yosha, Yahweh Shem Merkakadash. Scriptures uh, relating to persecution. That's the times we precursively in. 2 Timothy 3 and 12. Ye and all that ye, ye, and all that well live godly in Hamashiach Yahweh shall suffer persecution, right? So you're gonna suffer persecution. Scripture talks about, you know, before they hated you, they hated me, man. Right? And that's the next one, you know. So they hated Yahweh Shai, man. So they're going to hate you, man. John 15 and 18. If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. So the world's going to hate you, man. The reason why it's going to hate you because you're coming in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yosha. You're a believer, man. You're a believer in an unrighteous, ungodly system, man, of a world, man. So you're coming in a vibration of something that's contrary to this world, man. So the world is going to hate you because you come in that spirit of, of that. John 15 and 18. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, for many are called, few are chosen. Therefore the world hated you. Remember the word that I have said unto you, that the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they, if they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my sayings, they will also keep you, yours. Yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake. That's why they persecute you. Because for, for the Yahweh Bashim Yosha's namesake, man. Because they hate, they hate, um, they hate the, um, regarding this truth, man. Because it goes contrary to this system. So the Bible uses it as a prop. But they don't honor the Bible, man. They just use it as a prop, man. It's just a book to look good, man. But they don't honor nothing in it, man. The system goes contrary to this, man. <clears throat> Because they know not him that sent me. Man. That's the last verse, last um part. And if if I had not come and spoken to him, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin. They have no cloak, so they have no hedge, no protection. Because the thing uh, the message has been sent, and now they know, man. Whether they want to take heed or, or, or take heed to it, that's on them, man. Or not. That's on them. Um, he that hated me have hated my father also because the son comes in in the spiritual mindset of Yahweh, of Yahweh the father, man. Two separate entities, but one one accord relating to the spiritual mindset of both, man. If I had not done among them that the works which none other man did they had not had sin but now have but now have they both seen and hated hated both me and, the, and my father but this cometh to pass that the word might be fulfilled that is written in the law they hated me without cause. So they hated him without cause, man. For that's the majority of the um, two-thirds especially, man. They the ones that offer the Lord up. They said, let the blood be in our, let the blood be on our hand and our children's hands, which is them regenerated back, fast forward, um, generations going ahead, man. Three, four generations that hate me, man. So they the ones that, that offered him up. Pretty much pre, um, 
pre-crucified him by offering him up and the Romans offered and Romans ultimately persecuted him. And that's two thirds of our people. But this cometh to pass that the word might be fulfilled, this is written in there at all. They hated me without cause, but when the comforter is come, when I will send unto him from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. And ye also shall bear 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 witness, because ye have been with me which, from the beginning, which are the disciples. Let's go back. Let's get that word persecution. Persecution definition. Hostility of an ill treatment, especially because of race political or religion beliefs man so you're going to get a form of an ill treatment ill treatment ill treatment uh, because of your beliefs man the conviction of your beliefs oppression victimization um, maltreatment ill treatment also demonization, man. Discrimination, mistreatment, harassment, man. For what? For standing for what you believe, man. And we in those times of um, of um, the pre-persecution, man. Second Ezra 16 talk about um, the impending persecution on the Lord's people, man. The ones who believe, man. The Lord will not get that. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good unto them that hate you, and pray for them that despitefully use you and persecute you. That reads to your brother. Um, 4 and 12, 14. Be love, think not as strange concerning the fiery trials. That trials goes to be something being tested, being tried and tested, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened to you. But rejoice in as much as ye partakers of Mashiach's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Ultimately, when he comes and um, reestablishes in righteousness, establishes order. Um, if ye be reproached for the name of Mashiach, happy are ye for the spirit of the glory and of God rested upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken. So he's going to be evil spoken, man. Fault bearing false witness, um, demonization, lied to. For example, they can lie on um, the men of the Lord saying they said certain things when they didn't say it, man. Scripture talk about um, suffer wrongfully for righteous sake, man. So that bearing that false witness and, um, and, um, you know, evil is going to be spoken of you. Why is it going to be spoken of you? Ultimately, because the truth has no place in this society, man. But on your part, he is glorified. So on the part of the prophets, the ones, the believers, he's going to be glorified. But, but, but among the people of the world, he's going to be evil spoken. He's going to be bear false witness. He's going to be hated. He's going to be... He's going to be evil spoken of, man. For it is better, for it is better if the will of God be so that ye suffer for well doing than for evil doing. So, so it would be better to stand up for something that has significance and meaning than for foolishness, man. That was First of Peter's three and seventeen, but but and if ye suffer for righteous sake, 
happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terror, of their terror. Scripture talks about fear not the one who can kill the body, but fear the one who can both kill the body and soul in hell, man. So fear not their terror. Uh, Revelations uh, 12 and 12. Woe unto the heavens and the earth and the sea, for the devil's going to come in great wrath, knowing but he has, what, a short time, man. Neither be troubled, man. For we, um, Scripture talk about, um, for the Lord gives you not the spirit of uh, fear, but a love and power of a sound mind, man. Paraphrasing, man. All right, 3 and 16, um, Peter's having a good conscience that whereas they speak evil of you, bear false witness, speaking evil of you, as of evildoers, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse you your good conversation and, and Hamashiach. So they're going to be shamed ultimately, man. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteous sake, the believers, the prophets, the elects, for their kingdom, their kingdom, for, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom in, which uh, on earth and heaven dwell in righteousness on earth, man. Luke 6 and 22, blessed are ye when men shall hate you. So that's a blessing when they hate you. It might not feel like that way. But believe me, it don't. You know, the ones who've been in longer, they, they don't always feel that way. You know what I mean? But that's, um, but that's a blessing that um, they hate you, man. And when they shall separate you from their company, ones that were once your friends or the family or foes or whatever the case might be they're going to separate yourself from your company because what of this truth man and shall reproach you they're going to mock you ridicule you demon demonize you man because what of the truth and cast out your name as evil and that's that evil spoken and um bear false witness and some will um scripture talks about matthews 10 34 to 36 um your own house will be your uh, man's uh household a uh, man's um a man's old household will be his foes man you know so his household will be his own enemies man in that day um the Matthew, uh, Luke 12 and 51 talk about um, think not that I come to send peace but uh, well, I'll tell you nay but a sword but um, shalak but division that's 1251 of Luke man so division is going to be set forth man and part of that division is the demonization and ones who are going to um, um, speak falsely speak um, speak um, speak fault bear false witness against you and, um, and speak evil of you man it might even come at you at a certain way physically lay hands on you you know scripture talk about second Ezra 16 a great insurrection in the city ones who fear the Lord man that violence uprising against the what ones the believers man Lord will not get it again um First of John 3 and 13, marvel not, my brethren, if the world hates you. So don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. If they hate you, man. They're going to hate you, man. They hate this truth. It's really they hate the truth more than they hate you, man. But you but you coming in the spiritual representation of the truth. So you, they're going to hate you. 12, 17, and 21. Recompense to no man evil for evil. So don't... Don't tip, don't tip for tat for evil, man. Provide things in sight of all men. So treat equally in all men, man. And that'd be a wise thing to do, man. Number 18. If it be possible, this is a very important verse, man. If it be possible, as much as life in you, live peaceably with all men. So live peaceably with all men. Is it easy? No. Especially with the spirit and characteristic of these people, man. That's that that the spirits that are in them. So it's, Sometimes it can be very difficult, even when you try your best. Sometimes, um, because of the elements of opposition you're dealing with, it makes it difficult at times, man. And I'm just speaking through experience, man. But 
But the point is, scripture, scripturally speaking, um, live peaceably of all men, and it'd be a wise thing, for uh, especially for a certain category groups of people, because the scripture says they're that they're that worm, they're that worm, which is a defenseless entity, a collective defenseless entity, which is that worm, which is represents a certain category groups of people, man, and also individually as well, man, because why? They had no position of, of power or defense to defend themselves, man. So they that word, man. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place into wrath. Scripture talks about wait until I take to the prey. That's what the Lord prays these other nations, man. For it's written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. So the Lord is supposed to repay, man. Because it's his judgment, man. Through sin of his son. Therefore, if thy thy enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap the coals, the fires on his head. Be this is one of my favorite scriptures. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. So that's how you do it. Overcome overcome the evil by being of good, man. And that goes with up with twelve and um. 18 live peaceably with all men and provide all things honest in sight of all men man and no man for evil for evil man this relates to um, that chapter talking about pretty much Christ like or spiritual like uh, Christ like um, responsibilities man or what they would call Christian like um mannerism or responsibilities bless our number f uh yeah let's go to um second corinthians second corinthians um four and eight and twelve We are trouble on every side. The nation of Israel are trouble on every side, man. <laughs> they remember, they're that worm, man. So they have no form to defend themselves, man. So they're trouble on every side, all four corners, man. Yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. And really, we that goes to our disobedience collectively and individually as a nation, man. That's why we're in a state of condition. So we did it to ourselves first, man. Persecuted but not forsaken. Cast down but not destroyed. So collectively, that's the state of the, of the nation of Israel, man. Always bearing about in the body of dying of Hamashiach, that light also of Hamashiach might be made manifest in our body. For for we which live are always delivered into death for Hamashiach's sake, that the light also of Hamashiach might be made manifest into our mortal body. So, in likeness, man. So then death worketh in us, but life in you. Let's go to 2nd Ezra 16. That's the apocrypha. Apocrypha means um, hidden or secret. It was taken out right into the 18, 1885 Protestant group. Um, hidden secret. Something that's hidden and most of all something that kept secret. Man. All right, 16 and um, 70. For there shall be in every place in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Great insurrection, violent uprising. The one, these are pending persecutions upon the Lord's people. Man. The believers also as well. Man. For they shall be like madmen, sparing none. Revelations 12 and 12. 1 Peter 5 and 8. Isaiah 59 and uh, 19. So they're going to come in a certain manner like, man, towards the ones, for example, um, that are 
coming in in the vibration, spiritual vibration, and believe and and, and um, believing in Yahweh Hashem Yosha, man. Believing in the faith, the believers, man. Starting with the elect and the, and the believing body, man. For they shall be like man, man, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. So they're going to lay hands on um, the Lord's people, man. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses, man. Home invasion. All, all different types of uh, aggression they're going to put upon the people of the Lord, man. 73. Then shall they know who are my chosen. They are, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. So that's the furnace of adversity, man. Um, Zechariah 13 and 8. For a two third part will be cut off, and one third part be left there, and that one third part will go through the furnace of adversity, man. Hear, O oh ye, but ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand. Scripture talks about 2 Timothy 3 and 1. Oh, uh, no, that perilous times are at hand, man. So trouble, so the days of trouble are at hand, man. Perilous time goes to bad times. Uh, but I will deliver you from the same. And ultimately, that's that divine deliverance, man. That's what that is. This is um, a few scriptures relating to... Uh, Persecution. First and foremost, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yosha Bashim Rakakadash. This is Brother Zayab. I hope it helps in some way. Relates to persecution. I hope it helps in some way. Shalom. Thanks.